Liberal Brad Woodhouse and his conservative brother Dallas Woodhouse are two brothers on opposite sides of the political spectrum. But yesterday on C-SPAN, they were united by one thing, embarrassed. There they were, two siblings and political strategists having an argument on C-SPAN's Washington Journal when their debate came to a halt when their mom called them to tell them to knock it off. Let's go to this Joy. Is show, <laughs> no, go to Joy in Raleigh, North Carolina. Good morning. Hey, Good somebody you, from Joy. down south. Well, you're right. I'm from down south. Oh God, it's mom. And I'm your mother. And I di I disagree that all families are like ours. I don't <laughs> know many families that are fighting at Thanksgiving. And I'm hoping you'll have some of this out of your system when you come here for Christmas. Well, joining us now live are those two brothers, Brad and Dallas Woodhouse. Uh, guys, uh, Dallas, it only took about three words for you to spot your mother's voice. And then what went through your head? What were you worried she was going to say? Well, I wasn't really worried what she was going to say. I was kind of worried what I was going to say. I wasn't sure that C-SPAN has the bleep bleep button because I was just uh, shocked that my mother would... Uh, would call in. I think you could see that. Uh, you could see that on my face. Yeah. Now, now, Brad, how long have you and Dallas uh, been on opposite sides? You're brothers, but you're yeah. uh, totally opposites when it comes to politics. Well, probably for about ten years, but it really got uh, it really got intense uh, when uh, he became uh, state director for Americans Prosperity in North Carolina and we were I was working for the DNC trying to pass Obamacare so probably for the last five years it's been really intense uh-huh so I I'm taking it from your mother's conversation on C-SPAN yesterday when when you get together uh, you don't check it at the door you just you, you just start <laughs> swinging at each other over the over the kitchen table yeah well we do well, I mean look we have really bit we have really bitter disagreements and and we're both passionate about our work and we have you know decently high profile jobs so it's hard not to talk about that that's what you do uh, that's what you do every day and it gets it gets quite loud and, and Dallas when you fight your brother do you fight to win well of course the country the country <laughs> depends on it what? Uh, you know I'm down here in North Carolina trying to make uh, uh, a you know, North Carolina, a better place to live. My brother's up there with Obama going to the cocktail parties, going to the it's Easter It's that kind of smack roll. talk your mother I mean, drives your mother crazy. And joining us right now, fellas, your mother's on the line right now oh, from, my, uh, from God, down it's south. Mom again? Does the woman not sleep? <laughs> Joyce, good morning to you. Good morning. These are the boys you raised. What happened? I don't know. Um... <laughs> I, I used to say that I rocked him in the same rocker, and that got old. And then, um, earlier, sometime earlier, Brad said I I dropped Dallas on his head. You did. And so um, I, I don't I don't know what happened, yeah. but uh, I am having a lot of second thoughts about that call in yesterday. I, I bet. Now, uh, Joyce, do you say you dropped Dallas on his head because you you come from uh, your family is largely Democratic, except Dallas, who's the Republican? Well. Um, my, I, I would, my husband and I were both Democrats, and then right. he, he became more conservative. So conservative, he even more, uh, worked for Jesse Helm, So the, Praise they, the Lord! <laughs> <laughs> Joyce, Somebody has to stand up for the family honor. Joyce, how noisy does it get at the kitchen table when your boys are arguing about politics? Well, I have eight grandchildren, one of which is autistic. And then I have these loud guys coming in there arguing. Yeah. And then, of course, Brad's wife is a Republican, um, a chief of staff for a Republican congressman. So um, she, she chimes in, and sometimes she and Dallas, they uh, gang, they gang up, up on Brad. And so, and yeah, I love her. At least I don't have to sleep with him. <laughs> okay. Hey, that's over the line. Um, <laughs> you know, it, it, as it turns out, it's not Christmas at the Woodhouse family. It's family feud. Every time you, get, you guys get together, you know, haven't you guys heard that when it comes to family get togethers, you should always you shouldn't talk about religion and you shouldn't talk about politics. Steve, that's all we what talk fun about. would that be? That'd be no fun. Come on. That's like asking Lassie to stop being a dog or Bill Clinton to stop checking out women. Come on. That wouldn't be any fun.
I would like to say. And by the way, if if people really love my mom, Dallas, if they saw that talk. clip yesterday, they Dallas, need to watch the talk. movie. They yeah. need to watch the movie WoodhouseDivided.com. That's what we were on C-SPAN talking That's about. Right. We have a filmmaker that followed us around for over three years, following us about okay. the health care uh, fight. That, right. that, that, that Brad won that sure. battle, but I'm winning it now. And I got a lot of smack to talk Brad, to Brad about up. this year. I mean, my, side <laughs> won. my side Your won. Your mother just time. told you to shut up. Listen, she wants one thing for Christmas. Be nice boys. Can you do that? Do that for your mother, would you? And no reporters. I, I could be a liberal and day. sit here and lie to you, Steve. I could be a liberal, but leopards don't change their spots. Okay. We're going to argue, and I still love my mom. You know what? This, I love this you would too, make a great reality show. Uh, you guys got to come back. Take some pictures and come back after Christmas, would you? We'd be glad to. Okay. Thank the, you. All right. Uh, Joyce and Brad in Dallas uh, join us from all over the country. <laughs> Guys, thank you very much. Merry Christmas.